dear students of san academy i wish you all a very pleasant morning in these turbulent times when all of us are fighting against covid-19 i'm happy to know that you have embarked upon meaningful online coaching classes i would like to compliment you all for the same i also would like to compliment you all for the recognition that you have got recently i think on the 9th of march your school is recognized as the top school in south zone by times of india and you have been awarded by the minister for tamil culture mr pandya rajan i would like to appreciate all the stakeholders in this regard the management the principal the teachers parents and you dear students all of you deserve a big appreciation for having got this recognition from a reputed daily times of india now you are at the threshold of this new academic year and all of you would like to be groomed as winners and toppers in your own right and might what should be done to be a winner today that's a predominant question amongst you students and at this point of time i would like to recall the famous dictum by shivkera he says winners don't do different things they do things differently the second part is very important winners do things differently therefore you if you would like to be a winner today you need to do things in a different manner altogether and those who would like to do things differently should bear in mind three important elements dream structure and a complement i repeat once again dream structure and a complement for each day i would like to throw light upon these three components to be a winner today the first one is dream some time back i was interacting with a group of students i asked them to this question what's your dream a guy got up and said sir i have a lot of dreams i have dreams at night and during the course of the day if the class is boring then i have day dreams too but by dreams i don't refer to your dreams of the day or the night i refer to your ambition i refer to your vision for tomorrow what's your vision i also would like to recall the famous a uh, quote by the man of la mancha to dream the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to run where the brave dare not go to reach the unreachable star this is my dream he said what is your dream ask yourself it's a very important question and if you have a dream your dream will make you live life in all its fullness i just want to give you an example you know there is a small little country called rwanda in south africa some years back there was a student by name james a very good athlete he was studying in a residential school some 1200 of excellent students from different parts of the country were studying in that school one day and during that particular time there was a kind of ethnic war and uh, uh, tribes were you know were competing with each other one tribe used to kill the uh, tribesmen belonging to the other tribe and so on all those things were happening in those times one particular day you know the the enemy tribesmen belonging to an opposite tribe they came and encircled the school where in james study they set the entire campus on fire fire their intention was to kill all the youngsters in that particular residential school now in the midst of all of them james he had this ambition of participating in olympic games on behalf of rwanda so this boy he did not want to get killed he was booming up and down by the time the dress his dress materials were on fire but he was telling within himself come what may i will not get killed i will survive i will become an Olymp- olympian on day saying that himself he looked around and there was a, there was a window but there is there was no crowbar no accessories to break the window open he saw a few dead bodies and he ripped open the thigh bone of uh, one of the dead bodies and he broke the window open started running after some time 200 meters also there was a river and he jumped into the river and he survived the passers by took him and took him and admitted him in the hospital wherein he he was uh, he was diagnosed with 70 degree burns doctors gave up their hopes 
there was no possibility of survival but he was pleading with the doctors doctors can just make me survive i want to participate in the olympic games on behalf of my mother country rwanda seeing the tenacity of the will power of the boy doctors gave the best medicine and they made him survive once the athletic war came to an end the president of the nation came to know of his heroism james was called to the presidential palace wherein he was recognized and rewarded and uh, uh, the president of the nation said here is a boy with his heroism he has survived today and you know that time it was atlanta olympics the president told the entire nation though he may not be able to participate because of his physical deformity uh, sustained due to the burn injuries well james will become the proud flag bearer for the entire nation yes james had a dream and that dream made him live life in all its fullness what is your dream my dear students ask yourself today the second one rhythm structure you know uh, very important for youngsters today when we talk of structure only we talk of a both internal and external structure internal structure is something to do with discipline personal integrity and so on you know uh, your teachers handling moral orientation classes would have thrown a lot of light on it you know in today's context you know you need to possess discipline and integrity you need to also have an external structure a rhythm of life when i went whenever i talk to youngsters about structure i give the ideal example of a river flow like a river a river never never stagnates don't stagnate in life flow with the flow you need to have a structured lifestyle you know if you want to be a winner you know right from getting up in the morning say 5 5:30 you need to have a systematic rhythm spending quality time for studies quality time with your food cherish the food that you eat quality time with your parents and siblings family interaction quality time with yourself i'll come to that later you know many a time your quality time is spent with social media and electronic gadgets there is nothing wrong you need to spend certain time on you know relaxation i will not use the word relaxation a better word in today's context will be recreation every relaxation should recreate yourself therefore call it as recreation or recreation the correct english word you know you can spend quality time in meaningful recreation listening to music gardening small little works at home all that and there is nothing wrong to spend a certain amount of time in with your electronic gadgets but you need to prescribe certain amount of time we we talk about you know mobile phone etiquette there needs to be an etiquette you know when you subscribe to the mobile phone don't use it exorbitantly you know eating away all your time and so on all that is very very important and last at the end of the day you need to spend quality time with yourself before you go to bed every day well 5 to 10 minutes of minutes of time in self appraisal or self examination of conscience very very important you know many a time youngsters miss that if you could and i would say normally you know when you sit with yourself when you do a kind of self appraisal every day you know don't be preoccupied about all the negative elements of the day highlight all the positive elements thank god thank your parents thank your teachers for all the sweet thank your friends for all the for all the sweet memories and for a few elements where you have gone wrong well let's say feel sorry within yourself the next day you can rectify you know with all these measures consistently your life will become quality filled you'll be able to get a quality life in due course of time and the last one again a very important element well you know a compliment for each day every morning when you get up look at the mirror and tell within yourself this is my day i am my best friend and this day is going to be a great day you know i'm born to do great things you know i'm born with the wings of wings of fire lot of positive compliments well you know we in a day fill yourself with all these positive compliments you'll be able to able to develop a positive or a, a positive a sphere of positive energy around yourself with that when you move forward in life you'll be able to compliment your parents you'll be able to compliment your uh, teachers you'll be able to compliment your uh, friends all of them will start will start getting attracted towards you you'll be able to develop an inner positive energy so start each day with a compliment and the best friend for you if i were to ask you who is your best friend 
Some of you may say I am names. Some of you may say tell your parents names and teachers names. I say in this world the best friend for you is you. So therefore well let's say compliment yourself generously each day. And I would like to wind up with a famous dictum propounded by Malala Yusuf Sai, one of the role models, best, one of the best role models for youngsters today. A ship anchored at the shipyard is safe, but that is not what ships are meant for. My dear students, you, you, you are not like, you should not be like ships anchored at the harbor. Well, you should set into, set yourself into motion, weather the storms of life and keep moving forward. And if you could follow all this, I tell you, success will definitely succeed you. And I wish you all to be winners and toppers in your own right and might. God bless. Thank you.